Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We have some more hauls for you. And in this video, we actually go to a different Ulta location because the one we usually go to is literally only 15 minutes from our house. But for this one, we went an hour away and we found some really good things. So keep watching and see what we found. We got back from Ulta not too long ago and this is the box, it's really souped up. We have things over here like these nicks. It's, it's like really messy right now. We're just cleaning out this palette. Before I show you guys what we found in the box, if you remember in my last video, we found those five Lorac lipsticks and none of them had caps. But just like looking inside the dumpster, like nothing was in a box, we found three of them. So I can now cap three of them. And we also found this Urban Decay eye pencil and it's like a dual, like this one's kind of like a dark brown and this one's black. So these are the things we found in the box. First we have this Clinique turn around revitalizing lotion and look at how full that is like it was barely used this philosophy micro massage exfoliating wash and this is 16 fluid ounces and there was a seal on it but it was kind of coming off so this is like full sweet like candy by ariana grande it's hair mist and this is really full too but there's no cap or like a little pom-pom that comes on to it two almond honey intense repair yogurt hair masks and they both are sealed this bare minerals like foundation but can't really tell if there's like much in it because it's like hard to see two wax pomades it says it's great for beards this one is still really dirty we need to like get like the crap off of it and this one's better but it still needs to be scraped we have five of these mario Badescu. this is an enzyme cleansing gel like half full and then all of these had seals on them but then they were like cut down the middle but they're still like full we have these two drying masks we have this peptide renewal cream we have to kind of scrape some out of that too and this flower and tonic mask the ulta beauty lilac breeze body wash this is the rest of the stuff we found in the box. First off with palettes, we have this Tarte palette, and it has been used a lot, but it does have a little bit of life left in it. Bare Minerals palette, and it still has the brush inside, and a lot of decent amount of product in there. Benefit Browsings in four. And we do have to scrape off some of the top, and it's supposed to come with a little brush, but we only have the little tweezer. We have these two L'Oreal pressed eyeshadows. This one is in shade Eternal Black. This one is in shade Smoldering Plum. Tarte Amazonian Clay Pressed Powder. And some of it's supposed to be scraped, but they're can be a few uses out of this. It Cosmetics Confidence in a Compact in shade Light. And that's how much is left. There's this It Cosmetics Translucent Powder and you can see like how much is in there. There's still a pretty good amount. If you're a viewer that has been following all of my videos, you know that I found this palette before, but Luckily, this one was in better shape, and I'll put a picture of the one before, like, somewhere on the screen. It looks so much better than, like, the other one that I had. There's a lot more product. We have this Philosophy BB Cream in medium, and it's pretty full. For NYX lingeries, there's Silk Indulgent Honeymoon embellishment, and corset. We have three mascaras. This is Too Faced Size Queen, Lorac Pro Fiber, and the Waterproof Too Faced Better Than Sex. We have this Lipstick Queen Saint and Sinner Lip Tint, a Too Faced Lip Injection, a Smashbox Liquid Lipstick. When we found this, it still had the seal on it. It's a L'Oreal Nude Balm in Nourishing Nude. And see, it's like brand new the last thing we have which i am super super excited about is this it cosmetics brush it was a lot like dirtier than this we still have to clean it 
but it wasn't like cut or anything. Hey guys, we are on our way to a different Ulta location because in all of our other videos, it was like the same Ulta. So we're kind of going a little bit farther away to this one. Not sure if you can see, but Rich is over there looking through the dumpster right now. Hopefully he'll come back with something. Okay. Here's the garbage. We came home with these two bags, so we're gonna open up this one and see what's inside. Mostly full. Garnier Skin Acid Brightening and Smoothing Daily Moisturizer. Yeah, it's pretty full. Morocco. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Is it a secret? Two more Lorocs. That's everything we found in that bag, and now we're gonna go through this one. Ooh, a, lo a, ooh, a lot of garbage. Oh, look, it looks like a pallet on them. It's fuzzy. I don't want to open this. Oh. Okay, ready? Oh my god! Oh man. Look at how amazing that looks. This is everything we found from the Ulta that was over an hour away. Okay, we have these few Ulta brand things. This is an Ulta makeup setting spray and it's pretty full. Ulta illuminating powder, but we have to repress it because it's like loose. Ulta velvet blush, and that's what it looks like. Probably only swatched a few times. Ulta shiny sheer lip gloss. We have this just like this IT Cosmetics sponge and it's like clean because we've never had a clean one because our close Ulta soups everything up. Peter Coppola Titanium Firm Hold and Control Hairspray. And it's less than half full, but could be useful. Garnier Skin Active Clearly Brighter Brightening and Smoothing Daily Moisturizer, which is pretty full. This really does not have a lot in it. It's the IT Cosmetics CC Illumination, and it's in the shade Fair, and that's my shade, so I could test this out and see if I like it. We have these two... Skyn Iceland. I don't know how to really pronounce that, like Sky N. And this is pretty full. This is a Pure Pore Minimizer. And then we have these Glacial Cleansing Cloths for Eyes. And there's like some left in this. We found some more Lorac Alt Alter Ego lipsticks. And of course, none of them have caps. So this is what each of them look like. Next, we have this Shea Moisture lip crayon in the color blossom and as you can see the cap is cracked and it's kind of ruined on top three philosophy things both of these are cushion foundations this one is in shade 9 and this one is shade 10. not really sure how much is in it and that one's like really messy and this is a instant skin tone perfecting moisturizer in the shade medium and it's pretty full then this 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil by Urban Decay in Liar. And it just needs to be like sharpened a little. We found two palettes. And the first one I want to talk about, it's so weird because when Rich brought this to the car, it was a palette that I had like never recognized before. So I decided to look it up. And this was released fall of 2013, which is so weird because it's like 2017, obviously, and I don't know why they all of a sudden decided to throw it out now, but this is what it looks like. And some of them look like they were like not even touched, like that black one and like this like plum colored one. So that's pretty strange, but cool. Cosmetics Naturally Pretty palette. It's just kind of like messy and some of the wording came off, but when you look inside, all of them are in great condition and actually after we left that really like far location we decided to just check up on the one that's closest to us which is only 15 minutes from our house and this is the only thing we found it's a shea moisture body lotion which is basically full 
Thanks so much for watching, you guys. We will be uploading another video very soon. And I've been thinking about doing a giveaway, so if any of you guys would be interested in that, comment down below if you'd like something and what products you'd guys like to see in a giveaway. Oh,